Welcome back to Sobe's Safari, the series where I travel across space and time to show you unique worlds and their inhabitants. I'm your host, Sobe, and in this episode, we're going back, way back. Wait, wait, too far. Okay, a little further. There we go, to 1899 on the American frontier. We now stand in the decades after the violent American Civil War, also known as the First American Fighty Fight. This marked a time of exploration with bustling settlements, steam-powered trains, and gunslinging cowboys. This was also when monkeys were first frozen and brought over to America in wooden crates, a remarkable achievement. From dank swamplands, scorching deserts, to freezy peaks, on the open frontier, nature was as deadly as it was beautiful. If you were lucky enough to survive the natural environment, there was a very good chance that you would still die with bandits, outlaws, and whatever this guy is. The Wild West was full of dangerous characters. Ah, look, here's one now. This fellow's name is Arthur, and he is an adult cowboy, also known as a cowman. Let's follow him to get a glimpse into his likely boring life. Now, even though they were called cowboys, they actually rode horses, and riding a horse was one of the easiest... So riding a horse was apparently quite difficult. If you didn't look where you were going, you could really stir up trouble. And it looks like this cowboy just won't stop horsing around. Let's pause for a moment. One of the most efficient and most popular ways to climb onto one's horse was to first get on top of a nearby structure and with a running start, jump and land cleanly on your saddle. Let's see Arthur try. Oof, how about another go? And it looks like it is just not his day. If you find yourself falling from your horse, here are a few quick tips. First, make sure you prioritize protecting your head by properly tucking your chin toward your chest. Second, although it may be tempting to try and catch yourself with your arms, keep both your arms and your legs slightly bent as you fall. Finally, if you are able, a good technique to dissipate the force of a fall is to roll into it. Since this technique is difficult, you may want to practice falling and rolling in a safe space before trying this in action. However, with enough practice, Arthur could become one of the fastest and meanest riders in the West. Being a cowboy wasn't just about riding a horse, although it mostly was. Cowboys were well known to engage in a variety of activity, including drinking, fishing, playing card games, and hunting. Ah, it looks like Arthur found a grizzly bear. The grizzly bear, or Ursus Arctos, is also called the North American brown bear. These beautiful creatures can stand up to 8 feet tall and reach speeds of around 35 miles an hour in their adult lives. Fascinatingly, their front claws can be up to 4 inches in length and they can consume up to 90 pounds of food each day. For the most part, they are harmless creatures. Stay out of their way and they will stay out of yours. Glorious, let's pause here. Arthur has stumbled upon a stagecoach. Stagecoaches were highly coveted for their ability to transport both passengers and goods. Now, the smartest move here would be to politely ask the driver to stop the stagecoach and to negotiate with these gentlemen. Let's see what Arthur does. Ah yes, he's decided to lasso each of the drivers. You can see their bodies soar through the air and plummet to the ground. A beautiful scene. Now that Arthur has a stagecoach of his own, he can trade in a variety of goods. And, well, it seems that his stagecoach has been destroyed. 
Not to worry, with another stagecoach in hand he can- It appears that no matter what injury Arthur sustains, he simply will not die. Such a state of life would drive even the strongest of men absolutely insane. Now, in this next clip, we've removed the audio, blurred the image, and added some cute noises, given that it may otherwise greatly disturb some of our younger viewers. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Stay tuned next time as we dive into the dense and dangerous jungles of Azeroth. As always, I'm your host, Sobi, and thank you for watching.